Tableau has a lot of products at your disposal. Let us get started with Tableau Desktop because this is the software on which we will be spending a lot of time. We have two versions within Tableau Desktop. One is called as Tableau Desktop personal edition another is tableau desktop professional edition when it comes to your personal edition the cost of tableau desktop would be 999 dollars every year and you can connect to six data sources including the excel sheets and the csv files whereas when it comes to the professional edition of tableau desktop you can connect to hundreds of data sources. It is compatible with your Tableau server. It is compatible with your Tableau online. However, even before you want to purchase Tableau desktop, you can try it for free for 14 days. That's the trial version. And if you're a student, you would get license for one year to Tableau desktop for free, provided you are pursuing a full-time program with any of the universities or colleges. The second product, the most important product is Tableau Server. Now Tableau is a server desktop client server software. The moment you complete your visualization on Tableau Desktop, you can place that on your Tableau server from which people can use or retrieve the visualization which you have prepared. You can set the security settings as part of Tableau Server as well. We will spend some time on the architecture of Tableau Server. So I'll do a deep dive into Tableau Server in probably a minute or two from now. We also have the cloud-based Tableau version, which is called as Tableau Online. Now this is a Tableau desktop, which is a cloud version. And this is going to cost you $500 per user per year. It's a very good way to make use of the cost effective way. All right. Then we have Tableau mobile, which is compatible with your iOS and also with your Android devices. So you can readily use it on your tablet or phone and start viewing the visualizations. The next product is called as Tableau Public. Now Tableau Public is free for download. T uh, Tableau Mobile is also free for download, by the way. So Tableau Public is free for download and use. However, the challenge here is that you would be not you would not be in a position to connect to any of the data sources you would be only able to connect to Excel files and start creating the visualizations of your choice. Finally, we have Tableau Reader. I would explain this in this way. If I send you a PDF document, what software would most people most obviously install on, the, on their machines? It would be Adobe Acrobat Reader. On similar lines, if I send you a Tableau file, you would be in a position to open that if you have Tableau Reader, which is free for download. Right? So these are the various products which we have as part of Tableau. And I would say your entire enterprise solution can be built using all of these products in conjunction. Now let us do a deep dive on Tableau architecture. Here is a screenshot of Tableau architecture. First, let me spend some time on the customer data. We have data coming in from customers through variety of forums, including your data warehouse if any one of y'all is wondering on what this data warehouse is all about let me tell you the data warehouse is 
also very well known as enterprise data warehouse and it is a system or collection of data using which we create a lot of report and perform a lot of data analysis now these data warehouse are central repositories wherein data is integrated from one source or multiple sources and then we also have data marts think about data marts as being the subsets of your data warehouse usually each department or each line of business would have one data mark for example you have data warehouse wherein data from multiple departments come and reside in if you want only report reports to be generated for the hr department it would be having a separate data mart for hr department if you have a finance department you would have a separate entry or a data mart for finance department and so on and so forth and then we have files which can be in the excel format or pdf format or there are a lot of sources using which you get data into your system for analysis not just that we also have something called as cubes a cube is a multi-dimensional generalization of a two or three dimensional spreadsheets for example your company might want to summarize the financial data by a product or by city and probably they want to compare the actual and budgeted expenses right that is a cube so cube is nothing but collection of a lot of or multiple dimensions of data which one wants to visualize we also have something called as data connectors even before that let me give you a gist on the architecture of tableau server and client as i've told you tableau is a highly scalable client server architecture which is going to serve a lot of mobile clients a lot of web clients and a lot of desktop installed software and tableau desktop is a software which is used to create the visualization create a report and publish it onto the server from where people can connect using your ipad or mobile safari or android device or your desktop and tableau server is an enterprise class business analytics platform do you know what using tableau server you can scale up to hundreds of thousands of users it offers extremely powerful mobile and browser based analytics and do you know what it works wonders when it comes to your organization's data strategy and if at all you have any specific security protocols to be followed tableau server will fit in like a t now let us understand about the data connectors or i would say this is the heart of tableau let us spend some time on data connectors now